Okay, so now let's figure out how we're going to animate the bullet. Okay, let's see what we got. Just this cock. Brings it back. Start twirl. Bam. Okay. Give it a little bit more time. Okay. And now what did we say? It's got to be coming from like this one right here. So I'm going to just stick my cursor right there. All right. That is exactly where I want the bullet to come from. So I'm just going to add a, um, let's just add a cylinder. All right, let's scale it down. So we've got like a, what are those called, blunt bullets or something? Yeah, that's just about the perfect size. All right. So here is exactly where I want it to be at that frame. And so I'm going to insert a key. No, I want to actually move it back just a little bit. Um, no, I second that. All right. No. Yeah, we'll put it Okay, like this. Okay. Now that is exactly where I want it to be. Now supposedly it's coming from inside the uh, the barrel and it's moving this way. And but in order to animate it, what I'm going to do is that's exactly where I want it to be at that frame. But I basically I'd never want to see it before that. So I'm going to move one frame back and I'm going to move that bullet down, grab it in the Z direction, negative 100. So that'll put it down in China somewhere. Okay, and then. Boom, it flies up into the middle of the chamber. Boom, and now it's going to be flying out. One second later, it's gone like that, maybe. I don't know. And I'm going to do like he, like, like, I wish I could remember your name, who was giving me a lot of comments on YouTube. Um, but he said, you know, going with, with linear interpolation, and especially for this, it would work out really well. I'm not going to be dealing, all the acceleration should have happened inside the chamber. Alright, so really I just need to know its location stuff. And I'm going to interpolate linear. Okay. Bam. Alright, and now I am going to go, let's, I want this to take probably at least three or four seconds. Well, maybe, yeah, let's go with that. And I'm just going to move it, now this is all going to be in slow motion. So let's just move it a fair distance. All right. And again, let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at that. Okay. Okay, is that too fast? No, that'll work just perfect. Just the right speed. Well, actually I take that back. Because I'm going to want to have explosion effect and stuff. I might want to slow it down just a little bit. So I'm going to control click. And I'm just going to scale it. Oops. Sorry. Control click. No, let's get over. All right. Control click. Scale. Oh, it doesn't. All right. Let's go back to my dope sheet. The nice thing about the dope sheet is it scales from the green line. So if I scale it in this direction, notice how things. All right. There we go. That'll do it. All right. So now I've slowed it down a ton. So let's start right there. Barrel starts twirling. Boom. Okay, now eventually I'm going to want to add... Now it's a robot, so theoretically he shouldn't have a whole lot of recoil. But it'll look good just by adding it, so I'm going to eventually, but not quite yet. Alright, and now it's just a matter of tracking that. So, I've got my camera. Bam! And now I'm probably going to, because when that explosion happens, I'm probably going to want to animate like a shake. So I'm going to insert a keyframe right there. 
just before the explosion and now I'm going to rotate along the z-axis kinda too far okay now that's gonna be really okay and now I'm gonna animate some shake in there in the middle Okay, and now it's really a good idea to kind of have a little bit of oscillation. What I mean is, all right, let's let's get it to where I want it to be. Like there, and now by oscillation, let's see. So I'm coming up and kind of, so I'm going to continue that motion. So you can see how I kind of go too far, I overshoot. All right, let's see how that looks. Bam! Following now, it's tracking. All right, now, when tracking motion, it is really good to track either from kind of behind it and looking at it from its side or, or in front of it. Okay, and there's a really cool uh, website. What is it? Hollywood Camera Work. It's got some demo tutorials on Hollywood on how to do camera work, and it it makes a mention of this. And I'm not going to go through the whole theory of why this works, but it is pretty striking how it works. So just trust me on it. When tracking an object, it's good to stay in its lower. It's either a little a step behind and looking at it, or to be looking at it from this kind of an angle either before or above okay so okay so let's see how that looks all right and let's just continue on tracking it when is this thing end when it's it's when it's it's last all right let's track it all the way to here <laughs> 